Today I'm taking my cordless power tool battery packs and I'm adding power meters to them that they didn't come with originally. Now a lot of the major brands out there put meters on their batteries, but not all. And sometimes on the smaller packs or sometimes you buy a, a cheaper DeWalt or Milwaukee or something and it comes with a smaller battery to save a couple bucks, they'll actually omit the, uh, the battery meter. This right here, these are stripped down DeWalt, AKA Porter Cable. And one of the things they did was to save a few bucks was to emit the um, the meters on the battery. And that, I was fine with that when I originally bought this um, because the drill and stuff actually came with a battery meter on it. So I've lived with it, but as I've grown the tools a little bit, you know, this impact and stuff like that, it did not have a meter, Doesn't they don't come with a meter. I use the death out of that, this angle grinder. Um, this is probably one of the ones that I use so much, but it doesn't come with a meter. I use these bigger batteries and I want to know how much life I have left in them. So what I've done is purchase these little things right here and they cost me right around, these come from eBay, they come from China. It cost me right around, they're under three bucks, two to three dollars is what they run. Super cheap and you can get them for any battery size essentially. Now to get most packs apart, they're going to be screwed. Sometimes the uh, screw head is hidden under a decal or something. But if you see right there, most times brands like to favor the security torque. So it's just a Torx bit, but it has a little hole in the center to actually be able to, uh, to make them secure, I guess. But they're not that secure if everybody can get them. But you can pick up a kit like I got right here for around 10 bucks off of Amazon that has all your sizes and just plugs into like a little jailbreak. I colored them. That's me just so I could identify them quicker, but really nothing to this one. The style, all the styles are a little bit different. This one's nothing complicated. All we need to do, we do now, I guess, need to be careful if you're wearing a wedding ring or something, you just don't cross these contacts, but they won't mess you up before that so what this is this is 20 volt batteries 18 and 20 volt batteries if you don't know are identical essentially it's five batteries in series um each one at the nominal voltage is 3.7 volts so you add that up to 18 but at peak volts they're actually at 4.2 or 4 volts so 4 times 5 is 20 volts it's just how you measure it so 20 volt 18 volt identical and so what i have here these meters come in a bunch of different settings this is a 5s 5 in series one two three four five five batteries in series this is a four amp battery pack they're actually linked together so it's five and five where if we take this this one right here is it's just the five batteries and they've just stacked them double and parallel to give you double the capacity two amp hour four amp hour but what we're going to do is Actually, my case is actually really nice. It actually tells me which one's positive and which one's negative. And here's my negative. There's my positive. So all we're going to do is just fit this somewhere in here. And then one side just connects to negative. We'll just solder it to the link over here. The other side connects to positive. And that's all the wiring that needs to be done. And this works. It's on a little time delay. It stays on for five seconds or, or so. And then it just shuts itself off. So I did do one small modification to the device and that was just the little LEDs. This is the first one that I ever did and this is one I did just like a couple weeks later. But I don't know if you can tell, this one is almost blinding. The little blue LEDs shining directly at your eyes almost blinds you. And it's hard when you're just looking at it, especially if it's dim or something, like in the room, to actually determine what the level is. It's just not as easy. So this has a, it's a really thick plastic decal over the top of all the circuitry. And there's these little windows over the little LEDs. And they are clear. And so I just took a... Uh, a white paint marker it's a sharpie paint marker and i just just drew a line i just paint right directly over uh directly over the top of those just like that nothing special it lets them show up a little bit better 
when they're black, but also and then I just stick it back down. Or you could take spray paint and a Q-tip and just touch them as well. But it helps them stand out a little better and it makes them so they're not so blinding. Now, the first little dot is red and that'll always show up even if the battery's dead. And then it's 25, 50, 75, and 100% um, is the markings on those. So we've got my hole cut out where my meter fits behind there. So now it's just a matter of it to clear everything, but we just put the wire through. Test fit it, it looks good. We want it to be recessed because like I showed you, this top, it's stuck on there good, but it's stuck on there. And I just don't want over years of, you know, rubbing, I want it to stay, I don't want it to start peeling up. So I recess it back just a little bit. And so I'll just put my battery pack back in. I'll identify which side is positive and which side is negative. And it says that side's positive. We'll just make sure. Mine actually says which. You can put a meter on it if you didn't know. But we are just going to, I mean, I could solder it over here. I got a big red wire. I got a big black wire. That's negative. So I could solder this anywhere. Either one of those. Doesn't matter. So I'll take my soldering iron and I'll just flow them in. I guess I'll just solder it to the terminal. They are attached. Now we can just test it. Full battery. Now I just need to put these leads out of the way where they won't get pinched. And tuck this up into here. What I'm going to do for because it doesn't it wants to fall back too far what i'll do for that part of it is i'm just going to put some hot glue so i got my glue gun warming up right here so we'll just throw some hot glue on the back here and just dive it in so we have it all installed wires are tucked out of the way where they won't bump stuff and now, I can actually just put it back together. We're not completely completed, but we can put it back together. Everything seems to be function. That functions. Put the screws back in, and we're almost done. Now the final step is to seal around the edges so debris and stuff over time don't get under the decal and actually lift it up or metal filings don't get under there and short out the electronics of this. Because I'm going to take some of this E6000. It's a, uh, it's not really like super glue. It's actually a, it's essentially like a, kind of like an RTV but stronger. It, it's its own rubber. You can rebuild shoes and stuff with it. It's waterproof. But I'm just going to take some of that. And we're just going to, I'll use this to apply it, but I'm just going to apply it all the way around the edges. And just so nothing can ever go in there and lift it up. This stuff is amazing stuff. So just to show you how thin these are, because it took me forever to find a nice, super duper paper thin one. Is on this scenario where I don't have room on the front or the back. I'm able to just actually, the thickness of just the plastic on the sidewall was plenty to actually bury this. Where it's absolutely it's flush. I would like it to have it a little recessed, but on this one, it's it's completely flush with the body of the unit, so it won't ever get bumped on anything. And actually, these little raised edges protrude, so it would never rub or catch on anything. So I'll take this one. I'll just notch it out. Here you can see this is a little bit better. This 20 volt, 18, 20 volt is just 5s, 5 in series. They do sell this in a 6s, which would be like a 24 volt. They sell it in a 4s, which would be like a 14.4 volt lithium system. I guess a 3S would be about a 12 volt system and, and down. Um, so they do sell them in a bunch, and I'll put a link below. They do sell them in a bunch of scenarios and they even sell them for like uh, lead acid car batteries. So you could actually mount this to see exactly what percentage your car battery, you know, like in your motorhome or something, your deep cycle battery is. Uh, kind of a cool thing. I actually picked one up for my motorhome just to, so I could see in a, split second what level it is so i'll go about installing this one in here so it'll match but so my original idea was actually just to install it on the tool like this this drill set came with you know take some of my other tools that i use heavily and install a meter somewhere on it but i just couldn't decide where i wanted it and then 
you know, if I put it up here, the wires just weren't long enough to go back. So I figured these things are so cheap, might as well just install them all on the batteries. And then I can just pick up a battery off the shelf and see exactly how much power is left in it. Jump. Good job. Good job.